What's up everyone? Zof Skills here. As you can see, I'm in the Durban Harbour and it's at the crack of dawn. It's just daybreak. As you can see, day is just breaking out there. The lights are still on. So it's a beautiful sunrise. So this is a perfect time to come and fish, guys. Fish are most active at this time because their eyes are adjusting to the change in light. Uh, so remember, the whole night it was dark. All of a sudden now there's some light seeping in. The pupils are dilated to a certain extent. Uh, fish, obviously, the pupils don't dilate as much as ours, but they collect and, and I believe uh, trap light better than us. Uh, that's from the research I've done. So right now the fish like the big eye king is, uh, the springer, your oxide tarpon, even your shad. All the fish that have those flat, large eyes on the side of their heads, those are the ones that will be more active right now. Some of them choose to actually fish during the darkest part of the night because of their large eye, the size of the eye. But uh, yeah, it's the best time to target predatory fish because they're most active at this time. So yeah, we'll see what we're going to do. I have a couple of lures I'll be using today. I'll be using the Strike Pro Arc Mono. Uh, there are two colors I use. The one that has a purple head with a translucent white body and black dots on the side. And then there's one that's metallic blue and purple. And like the bluish green, like an azure color, uh, azure and uh, I'll say metallic. And yeah, I'll be using a Z-Man Mono, three inch Mono after a long time, guys. I'm pulling it around my staple. That lure has caught me so many fish, so many different species. I've caught torpedo scared, shad, kingfish, bartail flathead. You name it, I've caught it with a three inch uh, Z-Man Minos. So yeah, I'll be using um, the spoon. I forgot the name of the spoon. I did a unboxing uh, store review. I think it was for the Boxing Day Blitz. I'll just I'll link the information there. Um, what else I'll be using? Berkeley sandworms at the end of the session. If things don't pan out according to how I've calculated it should. So yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm here at the spot, almost there. You can see. I'll say I'm a bit late, not too late. Slightly a bit late, but yeah. Hopefully today is going to be a banger session. It's not going to be a long session. All my sessions, nothing more than three hours. Some of them do extend. That's when I have some spare time in my hands. And, uh, you know, nothing to do on that day. Nothing specific to do. And I've got nothing special planned. But yeah, normally it's not more than three hours. The reason for that, guys, is you're targeting fish at a certain... Uh, uh, during certain conditions, sorry. So yeah, let's see what happens.
So guys, I'm gonna put the spoon away for now. Um, I'm gonna try a jug bait, so I can see some action in the top here. I know it could be mullet, but also there's some other fish that also travel with the mullet packs. So let's see what happens. Okay, lovely. Conditions. Took me the fish to bite. That's all. On, on God, caught or something. What did I catch? What did I catch? Is it a new species? Is it a new species, guy? Let's see. So, guys, I've got, I've got a pinky or olive grunt. Olive grunt on lure. Look at that, guys. Awesome stuff. It's almost as big as the lure. So yeah guys, I've caught one before, this is the first one I've caught on video. So guys, he released himself, lovely, beautiful fish. I'm just going to throw him in the front here. Uh, I'll just flick him out slowly, gently. Awesome, released him. That was wonderful guys, new species on camera on video. That's actually the first uh, granted species I've ever caught. So I'm, I'm happy I hooked into one on video now. So yeah, I, I can't add it to my list because it's been caught before. But nice for you guys to see what it looks like. So the people from overseas, we call them, they call uh, pig grunters. We call them pinkies. But the, or I think the, the, 
the correct name is Olive Grant or Olive Grant. So yeah, I'll just put the scientific name in the description below. Um, that's our smallest species of Granta, I believe. We have four species of Granta in South Africa that I'm aware of. Most common one in this area is the Natal Spotted Granta, which I've got so many pics and videos of them on my channel. So the most common Granta you get. Then it's the Olive Grant, the one I've caught now. Then you get, uh, I believe it's the Javelin Granta and the Cog, Cog Granta, C-O-G, Cog Granta. Those are the four glass. I might be mistaken, there could be more. But yeah, nice that I, I caught a, a new granted species on jug bait. First time ever to catch on jug bait. So I've caught this on a Berkeley camo worm, I believe, previously. So that's good, guys. That's awesome. So a lot of nice species, a lot of damsel fish in the front here. Um, sometimes when you're reeling in your bait, they tend to get snagged. Uh, they're a bit territorial, so that's a good thing. Um, yeah, so that fish was safely released, which is awesome. You could have mistaken this one for a rival trying to, you know, take over his territory and in defense of his territory, lashed out, but and got hooked. But there he goes. Brave fighter deserves to live, fight another day. Most people will, oh, I had a nice hit there, guys. I had a nice hit there. That's in the front shot. So anyway, most people would use that fish as live bait. They'll put it to the circle, hook through its mouth or through its back. And then you get a lot of hits with that. But yeah, I'm, I'm not into that, guys. I like to catch and release. Try not to hurt the fish any more than I have to. And yeah. At least it's only a blank session. It's a unique species on jerk bait. You never think you'd catch. So awesome stuff, guys. You know what? You're going to see things that you don't normally see on other channels, on my channel. Uh, species and stuff, because I'm a multi species angler. From time to time, guys, if there are shad or kingies in the area, I'll have to like target them, of course. But my whole aim, as you can see, is to target different species. So, yeah. If you guys want to see a list of my species, guys, I'm going to put it up on my Instagram page. And yeah. If you don't have Instagram, you want me to put it up on my YouTube uh, channel, my next uh, video. Uh, just put a comment, at least one comment in the comment section asking me to do that. And I'll do it for you guys. A list of all the species that I've caught so far. Um, yeah, so let's see what else we can catch. So I know when there's a lot of mullets around, you tend to fish the bottom. Right? That's just a tip for you guys. There's a lot of mullet out, fish the bottom, because it means there was, a, there was a turn in the water, which means that uh, the sand has been obviously displaced, and a lot of the organisms that live, the benthic organisms that live there, are out, and most of them float up to the surface, because the mullets are in full action. That, of course, means the bottom feeders are also in full action. So, yeah. what else we can possibly
Guys, I think I'm gonna tie a bottom lure for now. Um, caught one species in the jug bait, so I can take it off. Yeah. So, guys, I think the next video I'm gonna do a slam with four baits for four of my most common baits. Tell me what you think. Uh, should I do that? And then I'll use those four most common baits to see how many fish I can catch. So yeah. With that being said, guys, I'm gonna give this guy a rest. First time I've ever used it, and it was in this video. And yeah, awesome guys, let's see what else I can possibly catch.